Okay guys, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing that quick little test. To give you my kind of opinion on how everything went or my experience of it all, I will say the Moragarberg, after all its many tests and its many outings, definitely needs a little bit of a sharpening. However, it wasn't so dull that I couldn't clearly see what the Mora was doing better or worse than the uh, CRK Pacific. So, let's get this guy out of here. So, let's start off with the tawning, first test. So definitely, hands down, and quite naturally, the Pacific did much, much better. And that is due to, obviously, the larger nature of it. It has a thicker blade, it has a longer blade, and overall, it's very much built for being able to do heavy-duty tasks, such as batoning, without any issues. The Mora did just fine, and as you guys can actually see, I decided to do some kind of a back uh, batoning, so I was batoning on the more of the handle and that was because usually when you your blade isn't long enough to span a piece of wood you can baton on the back of it to help kind of cut through and baton the piece of wood anyways as you guys saw there so this did do the job but this did the job a lot faster with a lot less energy and overall the Pacific did just a general better job so definitely hands down the Pacific. Now when it came to feather sticking, I have to say this is a draw. Now granted, the feathers I produced with the Pacific were slightly better than the Garberg, but that is due to the fact that while the Garberg isn't dull per se, it is not at its absolute sharpest, which I'm going to go home and retouch up this edge because I've had to touch up the edge several times. Uh, this knife has just seen a lot of use in its life, and so it's not uncommon. It's pretty natural for me to have to resharpen this little guy. So I have to say, though, it's a draw. And I say it's a draw because, one, the performance is pretty equal out of both edges. And in addition to that, when I'm looking, when I'm doing... Um, feather sticking I'm looking more than just at the actual feather stick curls but you know how comfortable is the knife to hold how long can I do this because oftentimes you're not just creating you know one feather stick you're creating several for a fire so this is this isn't about just making one really great it's about making several that are really good and so it's about how long can you hold it how comfortable is this you know how long can you keep it up so it's a draw really between them. This one probably in the long run isn't as comfortable, but honestly, the Pacific does a great job. And I think that what really made me excited about being able to show off uh, the Pacific in this regard is you guys are beginning to see why I actually love the Pacific so much. Now I'm sure there are better, or maybe not better, but a uh, larger, you know, bushcrafting survival blades such as the Pacific that do just as good a job but what I love is that this Pacific, you guys can see why it's one of my go-to, if not really the go-to general purpose bushcrafting and survival blade for me, because it not only does you know, your larger tasks very well, but it also can do a lot of your finer tasks very well in addition to that. So I love the Pacific because of that reason. Now, the next thing we moved into was notching and tri-sticks. Now, I just did a few basic notches because, once again, I can do every notch in the book, but I don't want to drag this video out too long and make you guys super bored just watching me, you know, like carving little notches because they can get boring even if I do it at a very rapid pace. Um, yeah, so just did a, you know, um, <clears throat> just did a flat notch, a V notch, and a saddle notch with both of these and they honestly both did pretty good however I can definitely tell that the Mora Garberg is uh, better at that due to the thinner blade and the shorter blade which makes it more navigable or more agile in the actual craft whereas this you know it's a heavier blade there's a lot more to move around so with each you know little notch cut when you're cutting into the wood you know you're having to hold this entire blade you're trying to move around and you have to worry about a lot more when it comes to a larger blade now once again this knife still performed very well in my opinion and it's a close you know cutting or it's a close it's a close to being a tie however this this knife still did perform a little bit better so that's why it got the upper hand so then lastly we move over to fire starting and now i will say this with one catch that it is a tie with a catch 
Now, that catch is, if you guys are familiar with the Pacific, you'll understand that out of the box, this blade does come with a rounded spine, not even just a flat spine that's been coated, it is actually rounded. And the only reason this was a tie was because I have modified my Pacific quite heavily. And so I've taken a few things off of my Pacific blade that were originally there, such as the rounded spine. Now, had this been a stock Pacific, it would have completely lost out to the Garberg. So in a way, this is kind of a point to the Garberg, but not a point to the Garberg. It, or this is a point to the Garberg because it's still a phenomenal fire starting knife. And this is a point for the Pacific because it's also a phenomenal uh, fire starting knife with the exception or the acknowledgement with the exception or the acknowledgement that it was modded so had this been a stock blade it would have not gotten a point and this would have been the winner but because it is modded it also did a great job and i think this one i believe st started in one less or got it got the birch bark to ignite in one last strike than the pacific but they both did a great job and really, really phenomenal performance from the Pacific. And now you guys, I, I hope with this video, part of the reason why I wanted to do this is because everyone loves seeing the Garberg go up against, you know, more expensive knives and usually seeing it beat them. This one was a pretty close competition, but that's because and why I, the other reason I wanted to do this video is show you guys the prowess and the actual ability that this little Pacific has and it's a really good uh, it's a really good bushcrafting knife and survival knife for what it is it is a larger knife but the way that it's designed you can really choke up on the blade and really get this knife to do some very fine-tuned and fine tasks that you know larger knives like the thug can't quite pull off so anyways guys that is the Chris Reeve Knives Pacific versus the Mora Knife Garberg. And these are both really great knives. This is still an amazing deal. You know, it's a great budget option, or I say budget, but really, in my opinion, you know, it's about $100, but it's still a great budget option because it has a lot of high performance in it, but really, you know, without the high price. I mean, you're getting a knife that you know in order to get similar performance especially with the high carbon steel one you know you're going to be spending upwards of 150 to 200 dollars that's how good the performance is for this knife and so i want to make it known that you know one of the things that does impress me is you know this knife performs very well at tasks that this one performs at but this is nearly you know a 400 dollars knife versus a sub 100 dollars knife so this knife in my opinion is still an excellent deal however there are still options out there and anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed taking a look, another look, at the, the uh, Mora Knives Gar, or Mora Knife Garberg and the Chris Reeve Knives Pacific, kind of putting them up against each other. There will be more videos like this ahead. I'm going to be kind of redoing the whole Mora versus the World, or the Mora Garberg versus the World series, because you guys love seeing it, and I actually love making it, and I love learning, because this is something that... You know, I have two independent experiences with this knife and with the Garberg and with, you know, like the Cold Steel SRK and the Garberg and the Tom Brown Tracker and the Garberg. But it's nice to actually put them head to head and actually see which one comes out on top, what performance is better at, you know, what different things. So these are common tasks that, you know, we do as bushcrafters. So it's nice to see how their performance varies. Anyways, guys. The CRK Pacific is an amazing knife, and I know you guys wanted to see more of the Pacific, so that's why I brought it. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.